What would you say to the question, what is truth? I ask people that question a lot, and I hear a lot of different answers. There's very humor sometimes, but a very simple question, what is truth? I have it written here on the board. Uh, to use as an example, I have this little picture. This is a certain person. He has an idea in his mind that stealing is wrong. But my question is, what is truth? T-R-U-T-H. And I have quotations. Because in our English language, we have the word true. We have the word truth. How do you define truth? What is truth? And keep in mind, and I'm using a King James Bible that has a few little changes in it, but keep in mind this particular version was in our culture for about 400 years while our language was being developed. So for 400 years you could look in this Bible and define truth. Now today you've got modern versions that take some of these same Hebrew words, they put a more modern word in there, and some of these words in your modern translation will say true instead of truth, and yet we still have the word truth, T-R-U-T-H, in our language. So I'd like to show you what the Bible said for 400 years, the definition of truth, okay? And to give an example of what I'm talking about, if, someone, if I ask this man what is truth, for him to say, Scripture says stealing is wrong. I read it in the Bible, stealing is wrong. Or, if he says, thou shalt not steal, right? These little circles represent, these are his thoughts, okay? And his thinking, obviously, I read in the Bible, stealing is wrong. Or the thought, thou shalt not steal, and I ask you this question. Are these two equally truth, or is one more truth than the other? Let's just look at three scriptures here to give a very, very simple answer. If you just look at the Bible and ask this question, what is truth? Psalm 119, 142 is the first verse we're going to go to. And the writer of the psalm here says, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. So according to this verse right here, God's law is truth, T-R-U-T-H. And remember, if you look at Psalm 119, you will find, as you read through here, that it uses the word law, word, ordinances, commandments, precepts, statutes, judgments. All of those are synonymous. And they all are referred to God's written words, not the word which is eternally in the heavens, but the word that God by the Holy Spirit moved holy men of God to write and entered into the human race the words of God. According to this verse, Psalm 119, 142, thy law <coughs> is truth. In Psalm 119, 151, it reads like this, Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. T-R-U-T-H. So by this verse, truth is God's commandments. Both of these words, thy law and thy commandments, refer to the written words of God. <clears throat> and then if we flip over to John 17, 17. This is a very interesting place where people call it the high priestly prayer. But in John 17, 1, it says, These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, so this is the Son, Jesus, speaking, praying to the Father. We're not going to get into that. In this section here, we're just looking at what is truth. 
But in verse 17, Jesus says, chapter 17, verse 17 of John, Sanctify them, these are the disciples, through thy truth. Thy word is truth. T-R-U-T-H. Thy word is truth. So I submit this thought to you. Truth, according to these three verses, is God's law, God's commandments, God's word, all of which are the written, the first of the written word of God. And that's where in Second Peter it says, holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And God's word, which is eternal in the heavens, entered the human race, Apparently, in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, now we as English people, praise God, have it in our own language. And I submit to you that the truth, someone says, what is truth? I think the definition, definition needs to be whatever God's Word says about whatever topic you want to talk about. God's Word is the truth. God's law, God's commandments, and God's Word. The reason it's significant, there are verses like uh, over in Deuteronomy where it talks about, or, or uh, also in Exodus, about a representative government, choose you out, able men, men who fear God, men of truth. What does that mean, men of truth? My definition is men of God's law, commandments, and word, because that's what God's truth is. So, if anyone asks you what is truth? I would suggest to you to consider these three verses here that God's written word is the truth in any situation that you want to consider. So I just submit that to you in Jesus' name.